Brakti Yahawa Brakatha Yahawa Sha Brakti Yahawa Brakatha Yahawa Sha Baha Sher Rakakudash The bonus to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and in sincerity. Lesson will be entitled Pray for Your Families. Lord will you are edified. We are at the end of Satan's rulership and Within the wiles of Satan, he will attack your you, your families, your possessions, and etc. Okay, so pray for you, your families, as well as your possessions. Meaning, for example, pray that demons don't come into your household. Pray that demons don't attack your vehicles. Pray that demons don't attack your families. And most importantly, pray that demons don't attack you. And at the end of the day, it's all about the will of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. But at the same time, the more we pray, the more we protect ourselves with that spiritual hedge surrounding us. And that comes from prayer. Prayer goes into begging. Begging Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shah for protection. Okay. Job 1 to 7. And the Lord Yahweh said unto Satan, Whence comest you? Then Satan answered the Lord Yahweh and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord Yahweh said unto Satan, Have you considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that feareth the Most High, and escheweth evil? Then Satan answered the Lord Yahweh and said, Do Job fear the Most High for nothing? Have not you made a hedge about him? <laughs> And about his house and about all that he has on every side. You have blessed the work of his hands and his substance is increased in the land. But put forth your hand now and touch all that he has and he will curse you to your face. And at the end of the day, Satan is attempting to distract us by attacking us, our families, our possessions to snatch our crown. Okay, verse 12. And the Lord Yahweh said unto Satan, Behold, all that he has is in your power, only on himself, put not forth your hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord Yahweh. And there was a day when his sons and his daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. And there came a messenger unto Job and said, The oxen were plowing. And the asses feed him beside them, and the Sabians fell on them and took them away. Yea, they have slain the servants with the edge of the sword, and I only am escaped alone to tell you. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, The fire of the Most High is fallen from heaven, and has burnt up the sheep and the servants, and consumed them, and I only am escaped alone to tell you. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, The Chaldeans made out three bands and fell on the camels and have carried them away. Yea, and slain the servants with the edge of the sword, and I only am escaped alone to tell you. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, Your sons and your daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. And behold, there came a great wind from the wilderness and smote the four corners of the house, and it fell on the young men, and they are dead. And I only am escaped alone to tell you. And the reason why Satan was attacking Job from multiple angles because he was attempting to break his faith and it's the same thing with us okay at the end of the day revelation 3 and 11 behold i come quickly hold that fast which you have that no man take your crown and the only way we will be able to hold our crown to the very end is faith coming from Yahweh through Yahweh
Okay. Matthew 8 and 14. And when Yahushua was coming to Peter's house, he saw his wife's mother laid and sick of a fever. So Peter's mother-in-law was sick and Satan attacked Peter's mother-in-law to get Peter to stop doing the work. Verse 15, and he touched her hand and the fever left her and she arose and ministered unto them. And it's the same thing with us and our family members. We must go to Yahweh for healing. Okay. John 10 and 28, I give unto them eternal life, who the sheep of Yahweh shot, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand, including Satan. Okay, no matter what we go through, if we are the elect, it's not a goddamn thing Satan can do to break our spirit. When we go into hand, Strong's G fifty four ninety five, higher, higher. Which means what? In determining and controlling the destinies of men. Lord, will you edify Shalom?